A world away from L.A. The planet's best cowboys and bulls have arrived in L.R. The common thread as they enter Simmons Bank Arena, none other than the PBR's 30th anniversary tour. And let's set the pace. Step. Here we go. JRB right out of the gate, taking it to task. He did. Love to see a smile on that face. And let me tell you, right now, he is starting to gather some momentum. And the numbers, how about 87 points? 87 to start us off. And that is the bar. I'm doing some Oklahoma math really quick, and by my calculations, yep. that puts him in the lead so okay. far. This, this could be fun. Watch this. This could be fun. Look at this. Help him. What a bull ride from the 18-year-old from Kansas. Watch this replay right here. Look at this. Look at the athleticism. Look at the bull. Watch him kick, and look how the kid absolutely dominates. We're two rides in. Give it to him. 91 and a quarter. Where do you go from here? Are you kidding me? It took us two rides yep. to get to 91 and a quarter points. It's gonna be one of those nights, isn't it, Matthew? Look at this. Takes him laying down. Barbosa to the left. Three for three. Come on. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah. No doubt. We're going to ride them off. We're going to. First time in history tonight in Little Rock. We're riding them off. I got the right it. star for it. I love it. 85 and a quarter points. 85 and a quarter for Jenner Barbosa. Yeah. Third right now. In the event, RW. The CEO of the Outlaw Nation, here comes Chase Outlaw! <laughs> Holy cow. He might have taken the pin himself yep. and wrote whatever score he wanted. Let's start with the bull. 46 and three quarter points, the bull score. 46 and three quarter points. He was gonna be north of 90, but right now he's right in front of you. Arkansas, what do you think of Chase Outlaw? There is no shame in that one right there. Well, it's gonna be fun to watch him right here tomorrow night. I want to talk about this bull we're about to see here in Flapjack. He's won the last two events. This would make three in a row. What makes him so special? Uh, he's just kind of been on a roll here the last few events. And, you know, he won the Classic as a three-year-old there last year. He's, he's a bruiser son, and he bucks a lot like him. He's got a big rear and drop and kick and comes left right here. Appreciate it. Good luck. You, thank you. Four qualified rides on this bull and all four in the 90s. Help me, Arkansas. No. Ooh. Flapjack continued to bring the heat. And it looked like Ramon DeLima was headed to the bank with the check. And then right here, 
Flapjack proves to be too much. 7.30 on the clock. And here, you read about here. that. Wow. Woo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa. 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 Welcome back, Cody Webster. I have removed. Hey, by the way, Lucas Teodoro, that was a really good handoff to Cody Webster. Good idea right there, my man. All right, C, let's go. Triple seven on the clock, no. Oh, Matt West. Can we vote to just give him a score for the effort? Oh, look at this. I mean, look how hard. He, he was trying, and he took a couple of shots straight to the face mask. Frustrated, to say the least. I want you guys to help him have a better birthday. Let's help him ride right now. Marcelo, keep working, cowboy. Keep working. Birthday, Marcelo! That's, I figured, I guessed. <laughs> oh, did you guess? <laughs> 85 and a half points for the birthday boy. Happy birthday in Portuguese there. You got, hey, if you would have wanted me to, I'd have just sung it in Portuguese. Well, you do well, it. You sing the last verse. Right now. Yeah. Top dollar, guys. You know this bull and Laramie Wilson here flanking him. He's got quite a fan club. You feel like you're flanking royalty here? Because I'm pretty sure you are. For sure, he's a he's got a bigger following than than Whoopa or any other bull I got on the trailer right now. He's a starting to become a fan favorite for sure. Give us a quick sense of his personality because he wants all the the love from everyone. Oh yeah, he loves his treats and his uh, scratches. He's worse than a dog at the house. Uh, you can't hardly walk through the pens without having to stop and scratch him, or he gets mad. And he's ready to roll, guys. Yeah, and this is a really good bull. Top dollar. I mean, he is a bucker. <laughs> We're going to get back to that. Mason Moody, here we go. Top dollar. Woo. Yep. Uh, what happens? Yeah. My hips used to do that. Top dollar. By the way, that was not a dance off. No. That was just that kid getting it down. <laughs> you need to get a qualified ride in this round. Let's go. Come on, Jess. Help me. Help me. How about you, Jess Lockwood fans? Watch this back. The Monster Energy athlete around to the left and up to second in the round with 87 and a half points. Lockwood making his way out of the arena. You can see, it looks like he's in a little bit of pain. As Lockwood moves to second in the round. That yeah. is a great, great ride. Let's watch him. Lion. Oh, 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 no.
Yeah, thank you, folks. Wyatt on his way back to the locker room, hitting the showers early on this Friday night. And look at this replay kind of all over him. Great job by the U.S. Border Patrol safety team down there. Great job, fellas. As always, the best in the business. That's why they are here. And quickly showed how talented he is. Quickly, Buster Brown brings him down. Alley-oop. And he gone quickly. And then... Look how close everything happens. But look at those U.S. Border Patrol protection team. Those three guys doing an incredible job making sure the rest of the folks are leaving here safely. Great Lucas. job, guys. Lucas touched the bull on that one. Yeah. Did he? Lucas. Look at LT. <laughs> Get it. You should try it. Uh, me? Yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm like 87 years old. I'm good out here. You're good out here. <laughs> All right. Fly and wire, Tommy Julian, BS Cattle Company. Here we go, KW. The Slash of Dragons, come on. Oh, he tried to get over there, Matt. Wow. He tried to shift them hips and get right back in the middle of that one. He sure did. But it was a hair bit too late. Flying wired. That is one of the top five bulls in the ABBI classic competition. He's outside the top 20. De Castro, Sonny B. Look at him work. Look at this. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it for Luciano De Castro? He has just been firing on all eight cylinders as of lately. Remember, 87 and a half is in second place. Matt West, what are the numbers? 88 points. Oh, Move gosh. him to the number two spot in the round. Luciano De Castro just jumped. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're going to be looking at. Well, Dirty Brew is the next bull, guys. Cooper Davis has him, your 2016 champ. And Dirty Brew is a bruiser son, and it's his first trip to the big show. And the consensus backstage, he is the biggest bull here in Little Rock. Cooper Davis told me he's the biggest bull I've ever seen. He bucks a lot like bruiser, but he also looks like he ate bruiser. So a little Cooper Davis humor for you guys. But he is large. I'll tell you, stand right here in person. If he bucks... Light Bruiser, keep in mind, that is a bull that was a world champion. Here we go. He's a big one. He does look a lot like Bruiser. He is a big bovine athlete. Hi, Coop. Hoop gonna come down, look at him going for a ride of the Yeti area boot bull rider and Cooper Davis. Day, let's get it twisted in Little Rock. Come on. Do your homework. Oh, Dalton. Dominating this one. Dominating this one. And Dalton Castle. Gonna get the first one down, just like he did in LA. Not gonna be setting the woods on fire, but he got a qualified ride, 85 and a half points. 85 and a half, and Matt, that's exactly what he needed to do. Says, let me have him, here we go.
And let me get to Don. Man, I see a red flag on the ground. Yeah, I also see a very focused and determined Jose Vitor Lemmy. There was nothing, and I mean nothing, that bull could have done during the course of eight seconds that would have brought Jose down to the dirt. 80 and a half with an option. So decision time, that 80 and a half right now, or is it puts him? That puts him eight. Eighth? Eighth in the round. Okay. Points. Is he going to keep it? And a business decision to keep the score okay. and try to add to it tomorrow. All right. So he will keep it. Little Rock, let's help him. Come on, Kaiki. Come on, Chip. Don't you quit. Payback is sweet, no doubt. KP, the Iceman, not going to take the lead over Matt West, but this puts him in the hunt for a title here tomorrow night. Solid numbers. And it gets him closer to his ultimate goal of possibly a second world title. 85 and a half points. Kaiki Pacheco just landed in the top seven. In second round win so far this season for Tate, and well, job well done, but first 90 at this level, huge milestone. Give us a sense of that emotion of a moment like this. Yeah, that was a great bull. I've been excited about him since Wednesday when I seen I had him, and uh, stars align, great crowd here, great place to do it. Yeah, let's talk a bit about Huckleberry. Word back in the locker room, you had the bull to win the round on. You knew the power underneath of you, so how do you rise to the occasion on this kind of stage? I seen uh, Austin Richardson win Tulsa's first round on him, and I knew he'd fit me good, so I was excited. Tate, we're more than halfway through the season. You're trending in the right direction. How do you take this and move forward and keep moving up those standings? Uh, it's every bull at a time, and we're gunning for the rookie of the year. Job well done tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Not surprised that they're there the next jump. Fast Eddie, who yells out last call against Miller Time as he makes the eight seconds. And with only 10 qualified rides in round number one, he's got a good chance to come back on one. Yeah, and this should be a good score right here. I mean, Miller Time fires, and he really steps ahead the whole ride. Like, there's some forward movement in there. It's wanting to rock Eddie back. Keeps finding the front end. Really a good ride. Pulls a ripcord and a good get off, too. It was back in Tulsa the last weekend we saw him. How about 89 points? Yeah. He'll like that one. Really good, and it's worth it too. Like he, he made that bull look better to get by than what he was. He can't get over that mental block. Keyshawn able to convert, and Mac, there's one simple way, right, to take away the Bulls' advantage once they feel you go in a certain way. That's stay in the middle. Yeah, it, that's exactly right. You know what? You ride to the middle every single jump. That's what Keyshawn does a great job of right here. Bull reverses it, wants to stick him into his hand a little bit, but the whistle's blowing off. Fantastic job by White Horse. 85 and three quarters is going to vault Keyshawn all the way up to sixth overall. And excited with himself for getting that one done. Why wouldn't you be? Detroit leans taking care of a lot of high caliber cowboy talent. Keyshawn's giving himself a shot to make that championship round again. Bulls taking everything pretty well so far. Touch finally happens. Mississippi Madness. Oh, and then a lot more. Lucas Teodoro underneath the madness. And let's hope he's okay. The Bullfighters do their best to get Luciano to safety, but even he's hobbling. 
Oh, yeah, and look, this is a great bull. Luciano starts a good ride too far to the inside, but let's pay attention to these bullfighters. Lucas Teodoro, look, these guys in Webster can speak the best to this, but these guys, they have certain things, certain positions they put their bodies in to get a hold of the bull, get him out of there, everybody get out of there okay. But sometimes you just got to take it, and that's what Lucas did, and that's what these guys are willing to do. Amazing as you look at that in slow motion, and we are now checking in with Luciano as he shakes his head, knowing that that could have been another qualified ride. Denver Barbosa there, and now we're looking at Lucas being taken back. Cody, let's come back down to you. It is always so tough, right, to see one of your compatriots go down. Man, Craig, it, you know, right there is just kind of one of them deals. Luciano got dropped on the inside there, and really being where we're at, we want to get in there and get that bull's head, but Luciano was still kind of hadn't really declared himself or the clock had stopped yet. So you've got to let that wreck develop. Lucas got in up top, and, you know, it's one of them deals. It's what we sign up for. That's the name of the game, taking the shot for the guy. Lucas, I, you know, that bull stepped on him pretty heavy right there, so curious to see if he's going to come back. Bop in and out of the championship yeah. round for a while. <laughs> Took Justin Feather a while to twist into a specific direction. Finally, at the end, it was to the right. So that is a score for Batista. Not going to be huge. No, and, and look, Sandro does a really good job here around to the left. This guy's really good going left. That looks great. But you watch when this bull reverses it. Watch how he gets to stay in back. And watch how it, it gets him out of control towards the end of the ride. Um, that, that's being a little nitpicky because, look, the name of the game is to make the eight seconds, right? But as bull power steps up, you won't get away with those kind of things. First career win ever. Renegade gets him down and then makes him crawl away shamelessly. 3.4. Yeah, and this bull did, might have got on Eli a little bit there. Got some feet on his legs. But this bull just kind of drags his front feet one round right there. Just changes the timing up. Gets Eli to the inside. Bullfighter's doing a great job Arkansas, staying hooked. Right I hate now. to see Vassbinder hobbling out like I that. I know, right? Yet again, I mean, it's one thing after another for him. We'll get you an update on his condition right. when we can. But Well, yeah, that's why he's contending for a world title again. Yeah. Davis able to make chop suey out of chop chop as that bull doesn't really leave the ground very much and not going to be huge, but it is a score. Yeah, it, it's a really good job from Davis right there. It, it, look, you remember earlier in the year when Davis made a comment and he says, I feel like there's about four guys yep. that contend, contend for a world title. And, you know, there might be a surprise thrown in there, here and there, but he's really right. And when you watch Cooper Davis, just like that, away from his hand, you see why he puts himself in that conversation. He is that good. Well, it's a little bit like how you highlighted Tate Polmeyer's exceptional ride in round number one. We've been seeing Cooper do rides like that since 2016 or 2015, actually, right. when he arrived on tour, which is why, obviously, he's got a gold buckle. He Master. Well, the whole goal is to show up on game day, and that's exactly what Marcus Mass just did. Eight seconds that he's going to like, and it might turn into eight seconds to remember if it gets him back to the championship round. Yeah, this is darn good here. This is a really cool little old bull round to the left. Mass in total control the entire time, 86 and a half. That's just a good, solid ride. One of those things that's one of those transformations, right? We've talked about it a lot since the inaugural team seasons, season. Riders like Marcus Mast really garnered a lot of confidence. Guys like him called the team series transformative because they felt like they were finally supported by not just the team structure, structure but by coaches in particular. Great to see is that camera just swept over there. Lucas Teodoro's already back out yeah, on the dirt. Absolutely. There, there he is. is. 
<laughs> you know, it, you can't like, like I want to brag on this guy right now and talk about how tough these bullfighters are. But you're going to have to help me out because you know all the big words to describe <laughs> stuff. I run out of them. These guys are just now, flat out tough. Yeah, that's it. Five letter word, tough. The same stuff. You just got to make yourself focused enough. Well, Dalton figured the formula out. He only needed a qualified ride. He took a shot, by the way, once he was on the ground. The short facts are he's going to move to the lead a full bull ahead. It's going to be a good total, 88 and a quarter. 88 and a quarter. Hey, I, I might even like it better. That was, that was a heck of a ride. Black Eyes had a darn good day. Dalton makes a great ride. Hangs up to him here a little bit at the end, but man, fantastic job. We've seen a couple back-to-back -back winners already this season. Andrew Alvidrez, Jose Vitor Leme, Dalton Castle trying to put his name on the list. Let's send it down to Kate. You've had a lot of big rides recently, but that one and just your celebration at the end, that meant something to you. Why? You know, that bull uh, had me trying the whole time. I never was in a comfortable position. And, uh, I had to drive my butt off every time. And it was accomplishing. You did. Great ride. Thank you. Craig. Well, Mac, off of what you just said about how, right, you don't get complacent, Dalton was, let's just say, spurred on enough yeah. to feel the need to go at that one. He said, Lambert calls me just about every day after last night's buck off. He told me I'm making the right move. It's all going to come together. Cody Lambert's crystal ball was spot on as Tijuana two-step can't get Jesus off his back. And the Arizona Cowboy has his first qualified ride in a very long time. Yeah, and if you're needing to kind of get your mojo back and fill it again, this is the bull you want to get on right here. He's a really cool little bull. And man, I'll tell you what, 82 and a half, that's pretty darn low. <laughs> I can, I can feel you wanting to take a trip down to the judges. No, no, area. no. It just, I don't know. I, I get excited. A lot of heck, I thought Castle should have been more. I thought hey, I Cody should have been more. So saw Marcello reach down his right elbow there. Juice did not have to get very juicy. As now he just starts looking for more targets. Marcello able to get himself away from the action. Yeah, and we watch this. <laughs> Take a look back at this guy. He just pulled Bells out of there to the right. Marcello, he, he takes the bait. You know, he, mm. as soon as that bull starts, watch this. As soon as this bull starts to the right, Marcello, he's he's headed, he's headed right, baby. He's saying, come on. And, you know, this bull's like, man, if you're going to go over there, I'm just going to switch things up and head back to the left. <laughs> Look at Webb. That's the fake out. He fell for it. Big deal. I, I want to get him out of there and get my chance at a 90. Yes, yes sir. He's a bunker. Jose can ride any of them. May have a touch right there, man. Well, a great eye by Webb as Jose yeah. finishes it out. Because we've seen the clock stop. Right, Absolutely. right when Webb said that. Yeah, we've got a lot of cameras out there. Eventually, we'll get to one that has the angle. And when you see a guy's upper body get back like Jose's did here, typically this bull finds him a spot right here. Instead, a big jump. You see he was back a little bit out of time. There you see the front, the free arm come down. There's just nowhere for you to go when, the, when all the momentum comes and you're out of time except down over the front end, just like that. Gets, gets him with the horn and then catches him with the forearm on the way back up. So again, when we talk about stats and or streaks, right, associated with Lemmy, rarely has he ever missed three championship rounds in a row, and that is just what has happened with that awkward touch, and you can see how he is hobbled at the moment from that. So of course, his biggest concern is his health a guy that's trying to get things going again.
Denner Barbosa with a splashy ride right there. He's two for two. 88 and three quarters puts him in the overall lead. He ought to push that. Yeah, there's a good, there's that's, a, a that's chance. That's pretty good stuff right there. How about 89? Yeah, that's a that's a darn good bull. And Dinner rides so loose and just nonchalant about kind of how he goes about it that it makes things look like, oh yeah, heck, I could do that. And that bull is really, really tough. And by half a point, he becomes our new overall leader. Backing up his two for three performance in LA last week where he finished third overall. Webb, I want to come down to you. Just give us an update on Lucas, what he's told you since he's come back. Well, guys, like that bull <clears throat> wadded him up, kind of got like a front foot on some ribs, which kind of sort him up quite a bit. But the hardest blow is when that bull went over the top of him. He come down with a back foot and really it was a solid pressed on him than pressed off of him. So he took the full blunt of that blow of that back foot. Uh, he's feeling pretty good, you know, but it's one of them deals that adrenaline's going to start wearing down from the initial wreck. You're going to start feeling that pain, and he's going to have to dig through and get through tonight. But uh, one thing about it, Lucas is tough. Yeah, and Mac, let's just take another look at that wreck because as Webb talked us through that, right, all that force. I'm about to watch it. Oops. Yeah, and there that second time came. Yeah. And, and that's what we were talking about, right? Like, these guys have a plan. They can get in and out of there, but sometimes they just take it. And that's what they do, not for just the guys they know or the guys they like. They do that for every single guy, every single out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with this one. Just not. Block approaching 15. You got it going on, my man. You called it. Man Melito converted it. And that is exactly what you were describing. At this level and the talent that these professionals have, that's as close to a gimme as you get. Yeah. 85 and a half. Yeah, that one's just like he just too sweet the timing everything about it i mean that's you know these guys are gonna ride him every single time and if they don't they were supposed to that 85 and a half puts him in a tie for 10. hardest that's thing about him is drawing him. Well, we saw the bull train station a few outs ago. That right there became a train wreck as Brady Randolph could not get away from just another gangster. Yeah, it's top heavy here, tipped up over his hand, rolls over in that rope, and underneath of him getting stomped on bullfighters trying to get in there. They got a hold of his tail. Finally, hand pops out. Look, Brady Randolph has suffered some, not only what would be career-ending injuries, but life-threatening injuries in the past. And, you know, to see him come out of this one, it's good to see him out of there and walking out of there. But not only the rookie of the year standings, but the world standings. I mean, this young man's got talent. Yeah. Ninja Cowboy had to do a little something extra. And at the end, he came up with one of those ninja moves. Yeah, he's <laughs> he is not smooth. Uh, look, though, I, I still think this guy, you know, I'm, I'm not jumping off the bandwagon just because of this <laughs> one, because he's doing a lot of good stuff in here. Just misses it one time. That guy's got a lot of ability, and, and he's got the kind of ability to me that translates as, as time goes on. If he continues to grow like I think he will, he's going to turn into one of those real contenders for a world title. Yeah, well, there's no question we're going to see him again. He's headed back to the locker room, hopefully gaining some composure. Yeah, a few of those qualified rides you saw that would have made it back to the championship round. They're out with injury. Who are we talking about? Let's go down the list. Start with 
Luciano DeCastro, guys, he re-aggravated a hip injury, so he is going to be out of the championship round, along with Marcelo Procopio Pereira. He just broke his right foot. I saw him back there. They put him on crutches. He is all smiles, but he's also out of the championship round, as is Cooper Davis, who is looming around that cut line aggravated a right elbow injury from several weeks ago. So three guys so far you will not see coming back, guys. Here in Little Rock. You gotta Mason Taylor is up to the task. He gets his first qualified ride of the weekend and he's gonna like it. Yeah, it should be good scores coming in. 87. And Mason Taylor, look, he's a little bit like Tate Palmer to me. I mean, not a rookie. Mason's been around a couple of years, but still a really young guy. But he's got, when this bull jumps out of it, like, he's got so much ability. He understands where the front end is. I think for me, it's more mental than physical with Mason Taylor that's keeping him from being a world champion. Send it back down to Kate. Great ride, Mason. Between you and Dalton Castle, I'd say a huge love for this bull crossover. Uh, might have to fight over uh, who loves him the most, right? I don't think anybody's going to beat Willow Ray. That's, uh, that's her bull, and uh, when Uncle Mason and Daddy get to get on him, there ain't nothing better. Great ride, Mason. Thank you. Great. There's five or six different matchups for each one of those guys where they can be nine or better. Joao's going to get his second score, so by no means should we count him out of the run for an event win. He needs 87 and a half to move to the lead. He's not going to be anywhere near that, 81 and three quarters. Yeah, not going to be the kind of points that he needs because this bull has an off day. But don't confuse that for an easy day. No. A lot of moves out of this bull, some back and forth, some rolls. Joe Al did a great job staying the course, fighting through it. Hey, uh, let's just recap, right? The three guys that are two for two here. Denar Barbosa, third last week in LA. Dalton Castle, one LA. And Joe Al, fourth last week in LA. So these guys are staying hot. 2002 PBR world champ, Edgene Caminius has been out since Duluth. He got injured the night before Indianapolis. I spoke with him in the locker room. Mac, I know you spoke with him in the hallway, showed us some pictures. He lost over two liters of blood in a three course riding accident. The doctors told him if the cut and, the, and the, basically his right thigh was split open. If it had been an inch or two higher, he would have bled out instantly. So it's just great that he is even back and with us. Yeah, man, it was insane. And you see this guy, 47 years old. Border crisis hasn't matched up well really with anybody so far. Hard landing, border crisis just does his thing. Right ends right around two. Both buck offs for Edgene at two and change. But I will say again, it's just great to have him back and to see him at this level. Yeah. You know, give Border Crisis his due. He's all season, last season as well. I mean, this bull has been bringing, bringing his A game to town every time he comes. It is time for our championship round. The best here in Little Rock. Sandro Batista gets in because of yet another injury and he was left with legend. Let's walk you all the way down to the bottom where the three coming in, a perfect two for two, Joao, Dalton, and Dennard, Justin McBride, which one tickles your fancy? Well, I think all three of those top guys have all really got a strong chance to win this event with the Bulls they've got. But Barbosa has really put himself in contention to get his first event win this year against I'm Legit 2. Those two match up really well. That was in Tulsa, 46 and a half. But guess what? Sandro Batista didn't read the memo. No intimidation factor is all, at all. Not the best day we've ever seen from Legend, but give Batista the credit. Yeah, and still a really good day from him. I mean, still going to be a great score and 89 points. And I just want to say hats off to the stock contractors of the PBR when this is the kind of pull that you're left with. Yes. That's uh, well done. Great ride.
You mentioned the 89. That moves him to third overall. The crowd loved it. Sandro loved it. As he ambles off the dirt and is going to start to celebrate with his friends, and rightly so. That's immediately going to send us into Cody Jesus, and Jesus in his first championship round of the season. Okay. Wanting him off the gate a little bit, but he's good. <laughs> Touch happened. The clock did stop a little later, 3.16, but give Red Demon credit, and you, you telegraphed it already in terms of how difficult that bull was going to be. Yeah, 45 and three quarters. Impressive out. Seeing here, yeah, the bull barely hits the shoot. It didn't change one thing about that bull. That's a good no call from the judges. That's just an outstanding bull in a, in a great day for him around to the left. Kaiki goes one for three on the weekend. And <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, White Horse is toast against Red Basket, but it took almost the total time required. Yeah, Red Basket's getting smarter and smarter. These guys start riding him to the right. He's getting to where he'll jump out of it. In the past, you ride, he starts right, he stays that way. Now he's jumping out of it. He's a really good bull, though. Great timing either direction. Another rider who had hoped for more, but that's usually what happens in the championship round. Is that was a buck off in only two seconds. This bull actually has bucked off 11 in a row. The clock says eight. Marcus. They will take another look at this just by virtue of the fact that he was going off the side at the end. Yeah, look, they are. They're going to look at this, check the time on it. But this is awesome for six seconds. I mean, it's as good as you want to see. And Mass lets his upper body gets back and just starts throwing those big old haymakers at him. It's going to be close. I mean, he, look, at the thing that'll play in Marcus's favor here is he did hang on to the tail of his rope, it looked like, for just as long as he could. It was such a quick buck off, though, that, yeah, it looks like his hand was not in the rope as he went flying off the back of Blue Duck. Well, and if they're not able to tell that, I'm scared he's going to hit the ground before eight. Yeah, he's you're right. really close to it at seven, eight, seven. No, that was a lot of speed, correct, also, that he went flying through the air. And there's the contact. Yeah. That darn ground again. There you go. Back to that T-shirt you can make millions <laughs> off of. Thumbs down means that it is a buck off. Blue Duck goes to 12 consecutive buck offs, and Marcus Mass goes to 0 and 4 in championship rounds. Mason in the middle. It don't matter what he throws at him, but it's a hard one to stay in the middle. Hey, two and a half is all that goes. As Solo runs his record to five and one against Mason. Yeah, nothing, nothing tricky about it. Just out of there, up and down, and round and round. Just sets him down. You know, just I mean, that's a that's a carbon copy of the highlight that we had seen yeah. the, the previous matchup from those two. Decent bull score, 44 and a half. That's just commonplace, it seems, for Ryden Solo when he gets clean outs. And you can see he's, he's eager to head out to the playground again. Tulsa time only gives four seconds of his time to Pohlmeyer, but I want to give Tate credit for nodding and sticking with that as the bull acted up. Yeah, no, Tate, Tate's got a lot of moxie about him in there. I mean, this bull's rearing up. Pretty distracting out there in the shoot for him. And kid's got a lot of stuff to him, man. He'll, he'll bounce back from that. In. 
look, you're going to see him in a lot of championship rounds moving forward. No question. That's his fourth of the season. You can just see it on his face, right? There is no satisfaction at all with just winning round number one. He absolutely wants more from this sport. Is Montana Jacket fits Joel perfectly as we've got a new leader and Vieta's in contention for his first win of the season. Well, a bull like that is what keeps Joel always relevant to win an event, to win a world title, things like that. Always keeps him up in the top is because he can ride bulls like that just darn near it every single time. It's a whopper, 91 and a quarter. Vieta won three events last season. He had a rough start to the year with some injuries. We saw him KO'd by Cool Whip earlier this season as well, but he has come back in a big way. Really, really good at it. Needs 86 and a half. They will look at this, but the good news is initially it is judged a qualified ride. Dalton continues to be a dynamo on the back of Bulls. That's, that's pretty rank right there. I mean, this Bull, he kept getting stronger. You know, like, it wasn't like he was really strong right here up and down. He stayed strong the entire way. And the judges agree with you, my friend. 91 and a quarter. He's our new leader, and he's got a chance to go back to back. A lot of grit and determination. You can see him hobbling right here. That that took a lot right there. Lock down. <laughs> There's your eight yeah. seconds. And the judges have to get busy. He needs 91 even. We've already seen two 91 and a quarter point scores in this round. Will Barbosa be the man? He gets 90, and that he means Dalton Castle is your winner again, win back to back. Hey, congratulations to that guy right there, Dalton Castle. But we got to see one heck of a short round with them last three guys. That's what PBR Bull Riding's all about. Three 90 plus point rides to close it out. Great riding, congratulations Dalton Castle. You could argue that is our best championship round of the season in the way that it finished with, as you just mentioned, all those rides north of 90. But a man who came in looking to make another statement did just that. Those thundering hooves that the top men in the world are hearing, that's Dalton Castle charging into the top three in the world. That's your U.S. Border Patrol Invitational official results. Castle over Barbosa and Vieta. Let's send it down to Kate. Dalton, well done, and what a championship round it was. You were cheering just as loud for dinner back there as everyone inside this arena. Talk about just the competition level and how it changes the game for you. You know, bull riding is fun, and when you have the top 35 bulls in the world against the top 35 guys, you know, it just is next level excitement, and it fires all of us up. Third event win for you so far this season, and still plenty of room left. You are slowly moving your way all the way up those standings. Number three right now. Talk about this year. What's it going to take? Have you started thinking world championship in any way? You know, the Lord's really blessed me, and I've been with great people, surrounding myself with great people, and uh, it helps have, being at a good place like this, and the crowd's amazing, and we can't thank y'all enough. And last year, a huge fan of bull power, so I want to give you a moment to talk about the one you picked here in Smokestack. You seem to go with a different huge contender every championship round. What was it about this one? 
you know, I'm feeling confident away from my hand and into my hand, and I knew he could go either way. And uh, Riley Sanford told me that he'd be a good one to pick, and so that's what I went with. Riley was right. Congratulations, Dalton. Another win. Thank you. Sir Castle, the night of the 90s, has another one as he and Smokestack combine for big points. And talk about big points. Dalton Castle has moved to number two in the world, only 56 and a half behind Leme. And give Barbosa credit because he now has crested himself into the top 10. Well, join us next week when the PBR Unleashed the Beast Tour heads north to Milwaukee. Our coverage is going to begin Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS Sports Network. For Justin McBride, Kate Harrison, Cody Webster, and our entire crew, I'm Craig Hummer. Thanks for watching.